I do know it's a Wednesday. Jesus had 12 disciples. I don't know how many I got. I don't know, but I do know a few. And I wouldn't call them disciples. I call them people that actually dig me. <laughs> um, Sarah Valdez, Jeff Lepty Colbrooks, Laura Allen Lores, Holly Omar Kellop, um, Eugenia Harris, um, um, Shiloh Baptist Church. I don't know their name. Um, um, he gonna be mad at me. Um, um, the third pastor. Um, Ronald Reed. Hey, don't be pissed off. I, it came through. Um, I got others too. A young Brian Yoakum. Some of his stuff is teenage. That's okay. I've been there too. You know. um, it ain't too far out. It's being a, being a teenager, really. <clears throat> what do you experience being a teenager nowadays? And what are your thoughts on it? Um, I just heard on the TV, Barack, I could call him Obama, um, <clears throat> I like calling him by his first name, I'm allowed to do that, I'm a ghost, right? He does exactly what I do, looks right at the camera and says, this is what it is, and this is what I'm doing, try and fix it, and it ain't gonna be easy, and he's the president. And I don't even want that because, damn, that's a hard thing to do. He's up to the test. And according to the news, which is always up for uh, fun, who's slicing whose throat, who's dumping on who, or whatever, it is politics. It is, it is. Neither side really has a clue to what's really going on. They plant and bacteria, saying this is the right way. No, there is a middle ground, really. There is. <clears throat> you just need to figure it out, and you have a chance. Um. Um, I'm going to move on to the next thing. Of course, yesterday I did a whole big storyline. God, we feel like a worm. I, I feel like a worm a lot. I really do. You are. Yeah. <laughs> in, in all reality, I am a freaking worm. And some worms can do a lot of things. It depends on where they can go and what they can do. But nonetheless, yeah. Most of the time, you're getting walked on by. Um, <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. Um, I have quit buying cigarettes. Nah, it's, I'm an idiot. What's good, he's there? You've got a popsicle out there, don't you? No. They ate them all, for real. Go get ice cream. Go get ice cream with waffles. Yeah, but you could do it. Uh, you ain't that disabled. Yes, I am. Because I can see the door. It ain't dark in there. Huh? It ain't dark in there. We in where? In the kitchen. I'm cold! And she wants ice cream. <laughs> and she's... I don't know. She, she, she's definitely disabled. She's bad. Neuropathy and all the other crap that goes on with it. 
Um, she can't, be, can't be satisfied for more than five minutes. It's a reality. Uh, you, you know, you didn't have that. But you see, there's a difference between mental and physical. You physically, you just have a lot of problems. I do, too. Yeah. Um, What's he doing? Um, knocking on knocking on each other off of my stomach. Taking on the um, Yeah. Um, I bought a dental thing. I couldn't find dental insurance. All they want to sell you is discount plans. And I'm not sure whether or not that's going to really do me much good, but I suppose better than nothing. And I pretty much still try to live as if I was in the third world because I just don't feel that I'm really worthy according to the way things are supposed to be, to be anything else. <clears throat> now, I did talk about <clears throat> thorn up nose, behind the lip, uh, don't feel too good. Um, it's not bothering me so much at the moment. Um, I made, what? Well, change the subject again. You know, I actually tried to make corn fritters. <laughs> Grandma used to make them really good. And I, you know, you can tell somebody how to do it and show them even, but if, if you're not paying attention totally, it don't get done right. Um, mashed potatoes, corn, and onion, not too watery, not too dry. A fair amount of olive oil or butter, whatever. Whatever you want to use, olive oil is better for you. And don't let it burn. But it's got to have a sh it's got to have a shell. Um, it didn't work out too well. Most of them got burned on one side. I did a good job on the other. Diane won't eat them. I probably will. Um, it's poor people's food, really. And it's got a lot of flavor. <clears throat> she wanted me to make hamburger helper taco something and we threw in onions and corn and it was definitely decent i haven't got hungry yet i will be. i will be yeah with this abscess and swelling going on the mouth don't open for a giant thingy you gotta kind of spoon feed me but you know i still go on <coughs> Um, I'm seeing a lot of things, you know, I'll see, see, see whether or not what daddy passed through me is totally truth, I expected it is, the worst part about it was I gotta live through it too, yeah, no, <clears throat> um, oh yeah, Pastor Harris said I got an issue with dying. Let Jesus help you with that. Jesus died too. I'm worried about getting the job done. I ain't worried about dying. Well, it depends on how it happens. Right? Um, it, nobody should throw information into your head. It's, it's whatever it is. To me, it's very intense information. Nobody should throw that at you unless they expect you to be able to use it. You see what I'm saying? So for me to die without achieving it would feel like a total loss. How long is it going to take Daddy to build another me? How long will it take him to build Jesus or Muhammad or any of that critters that did a whole lot of good stuff, right? <clears throat> Buddha, too. You know, one of the, there's so many of them. Um... I got a couple minutes. It's amazing how fast time can fly. Um, Brock said, because he is not following the group and the path that is supposed to be followed, he is looking at the hole like I do and saying, this is not a good thing we're doing. 
Um, there might be repercussions, but either way, there's going to be repercussions. You cannot win in Afghanistan. I said that. Um, he did a very good job pulling the straight, pulling the trigger when he thought it was necessary, and he got Osama. Bin Laden is dead. That character off the stage. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean they ain't more like him. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And Afghanistan, the politics is saying you're an occupier. Taliban wasn't. You are. Well, Taliban's an occupier too, actually. But. How do you persuade people who got nothing to hate somebody? It ain't that hard. And America has become so good at believing in itself in all that we do, which isn't always good. But remember, we are the best of the best and the worst of the worst. And we're starting, well, it's starting to show up. Things starting to flower, and all the flowers ain't good. Um. <clears throat> And again, you know, Jeff Leptic, um, Laura Allen Mars, you know, they're the first two females that uh, actually talked to me and say, you know, three dollars a week, man, that's a lot. And I said, churches live on that stuff. And, and if you don't got it, that's okay. I don't give churches enough meat. I barely make a living myself. But if you do got something, send it to the Eden Foundation. Yeah. P.O. Box 6012, reading Paul. 19610. You know, lots of shit's gonna happen, and I hope, ouch, don't hit me in the face. You know how much that's gonna hurt. <laughs>